Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of EDT Oda Treasure. I'm Steven. This is the channel where I show you my hobby of collecting discontinued vintage rare and interesting fragrances. And in this one, we have an Armani classic. You guys know Armani O Poro. You know that classic. I've had a number of videos on my channel. Go back and click the uh, video tab on my channel. You can see some other Armani Por uh, Armani O Poro videos. Uh, this one is the aftershave version. I found a great one, so I'm gonna check this one out. I'm gonna show you guys this one. I don't know what year it came out, but it looks like one from the 80s. It was a great deal. So let's get to this one. Let's open this one up. This one has a paper invoice. First time I've seen anything like that from this website. There it is, Armani Aftershave Lotion. All right. Okay. There it is. So it's got a little um, damage on the uh, box here. That's not a big deal. We don't care that much about the box. It's the bottle and the juice inside that is the most important thing. So this is a 75 ml aftershave lotion. And the box has some spots on it. These are like moisture spots over the years. It just, uh, the humidity here in Japan got to it. So let's take a look and see if we can see a batch code or any clues on the box to tell us when this came out. All right, so that's one clue there. When you see on any Armani Porom box, this 137 Rue, that means that this is before 1991. So this is very likely an 80s box. Let's see, here's the batch code. UG16. So I have Raiders of the Lost Scent website open right now. Let's go take a look and see when UG, what year that is. All right, so UG, guys, this is 1988. This is a 1988 bottle. Let's check it out. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Here it is. Now, right away, I noticed that it doesn't have the, uh, the black plastic on the bottom, and I'm wondering if it came like that, but I'm thinking it does because... There is stuff to be read on the bottle right here. Bottle made in France, 75 ml. Okay, cool. This is really nice, and look how full it is. It is just about full. Let's open her up and take a whiff of this beautiful stuff. Yeah, this is like new. Let's smell what 1988 Armani O Porom aftershave smells like. Let's check it out. Anything else on this box we can check out? I mean bottle. There's the batch code. UG16. Yeah, guys, so that's it. Let's smell and see how it is. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yep, it's just like the Eau de Toilette, just like the Cologne, the, this aftershave version. So I'm not going to go through all the notes or do a review of this. You guys know this. This is a classic. You guys can look online. I think Roger Pellegrino made this, and this came out in 1982, which coincidentally was the same time that the last fragrance I did, the last video which you gotta see, that's an awesome 1986 bottle of Dracar Noir. That was also created in 1982, or released in 1982, so that is something that links these two famous men's fragrances together. Sadly, one difference is this has been discontinued. I think all the Armani O Poro fragrances are now discontinued or not in production anymore. So get them while you can, guys. There are some fragrances out there that are similar to this. 
As far as alternatives go to this, there is still Dior Eau Sauvage. Not Dior Sauvage, not the modern one, but the classic men's cologne Eau Sauvage from the 60s. They still produce that, and according to Fragrantica, that has the most thumbs up for reminds me of this one. But I have several of these, the Eau de Toilettes. I don't have a lot of the aftershave, uh, the aftershave lotion, so I'm glad that I got this one. And I bought this. This is a funny story. I saw this one pop up six or seven months ago, guys, a long time ago. I saw this one pop up, and the seller was asking about twenty to twenty-two dollars, something like that, twenty-five bucks. Now you would have probably bought it right away, but I just uh, I asked for like if if I could buy it for eighteen dollars, I think I asked, and uh, the seller said sorry. You know our lowest price is like twenty dollars, and I said fine. And then I forgot about it, guys. And then I saw it pop up a few days ago, and the price was 1,800 yen, or $12. And at $12, I pulled the trigger. So I got this for 12 bucks after it was sitting there for six or seven months and nobody bought it at around 20 bucks. And one of the reasons why was this was miscategorized. This was listed as a skincare cosmetics body lotion and of course guys aren't shopping for skincare body lotion women are and women are just overlooking this so i just had my keen eye open and i found it and grabbed this for 12 bucks a full nearly full 75 ml aftershave classic armani opera home what do you think guys what do you think of this video what do you think of this fragrance in general give me a thumbs up and like this video and why not subscribe if you haven't already, if you'd like to see these videos of my fragrance collecting, discontinued, vintage, rare and interesting fragrances. And say hello in the comments. Let me know what you think about this fragrance, this video, uh, whatever you want to say. Just uh, say it in the comments and uh, looking forward to it. So until the next video, guys, have a great day out there and take care.